When I started my adventure with programming I learned various random skills, some were easier, interesting and useful, others are better left unmentioned. Until I finally came across Python and said yes, this is the language I want to master. So if you, like me, want to improve your Python skills or are looking for ideas for a project, then listen, or rather watch, carefully. Deal? So, here I have a list of 10 projects. They are ordered from the easiest to the most difficult, so as to create a perfect roadmap for you. Also remember that you are on the Practical Coding channel. The name did not come out of nowhere, so our projects will be really practical. Okay, let's start. Number 1. I guess it will not be a surprise if I say that it is a simple game. Guess the number. There's no point in starting with fireworks. The point is to learn the basics of syntax without overcomplicating, without additional libraries, pure Python. If you start as advanced, you can diversify the game a bit and add a small feature, but it's at your own risk. Number two will be a desktop application using the Tkinter or Kivi library. It can be anything you want, a calculator, a password generator, a to-do list. The point is to do anything, even the most generic project, but as a desktop application because this skill can increase the usability of our future programs, so that instead of incomprehensible prints and inputs you can take care of the user's comfort. As a third project I chose an application like Paint, because it will combine our previous skills and additionally allow us to learn how to use libraries in this case it will be Pillow for example. Since we are still beginners, we can limit ourselves to changing colors only. I allow. The fourth project will be a weather app. And now why didn't I put it on par with the previous projects, since it is based on the same? Well, not really, because we are just raising the bar and introducing API usage to our skill resources. This is where things start to get complicated. So think about whether it's worth knowing how to program, because it will only get harder from here. We are already halfway through, so we are entering a higher level of difficulty. I think that when entering the intermediate stage it is worth having knowledge about automation, and I don't mean those shady AI-generated channels, but about creating programs that do something for us. A good example to start with would be AutoClicker, because it can also be divided into beginner and advanced versions. A beginner can execute a program using PyOtogi and enclose it in literally a few lines of code, but you can also delve into it and use Selenium to create a web scraper that will be independent of mouse movements and may be more practical than simply clicking on the screen. Number 6. This project will be a football match analyzer. This is about selecting data from JSON files and presenting it in text, graphic, chart form. Actually, the more detailed the better. Especially since some APIs contain very precise data on this subject. So the seventh project will be a Python program using AI. I gave it because this whole AI seems future-proof and it's worth knowing how to use this type of tool. So I suggest creating, for example, a presentation generator like I showed on this channel one. Number eight, it will be an object or gesture detector made using OpenCV. Since you want to be an advanced programmer, you need to know OpenCV like you have a tool in front of you that will allow you to search, analyze, and integrate with objects in real time. If that doesn't convince you, then know that thanks to this you can write a bot that will cheat an online game. Only a advantages. Number 9, here we are already entering a higher level, namely the ninth project will be photo classification using TensorFlow. It's like OpenCV but on steroids. Thanks to this you will learn the deep learning algorithm, this Google mess, and you will lose dozens of hours doing a project without using a template. But it's worth it I guess? And finally last but not least, number 10, the last project will be an algorithm for teaching a game playing program. I think the simplest solution will be to use the neat algorithm, which I have also made a video about, although calling something like that, simple, sounds a bit weird. So you take a single player game, preferably already made in Python, turn the player into a bot, give it data to learn and after a few, maybe a few hundred attempts it will finally learn the basics. So we've reached the end of the list, if you have an idea for other interesting ideas, then share them in the comments. But if you still don't have an idea, then just look in the comments. Subscribe for more.